Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to import facial, bone, and morph hybrid characters into iClone in order to use all the uh, cool real-time facial animation tools uh, within iClone. Um, so here I have this crocodile character loaded up uh, in Maya here. I'm going to show you a couple things about this character. It's actually included with our facial pipeline character design pack. So first of all I'm going to zoom in on the face a little bit here. If I uh, select my character and uh, zoom in on the face, um, what you can see first of all is that uh, um, if you take a close look at the uh, model, you can see there's some uh, jaw bones that are kind of coming out through the skin mesh. So we can see that this character has facial bones. Uh, if we go into wireframe mode, you can see those a little bit better. You see the purple, uh, purple bones uh, in the uh, in the crocodile's head. There, similar to the hunter character, although this character has some fairly simplified bone structure. Um, so it also this character also has blend shapes, which I'll show you uh, right now. If we go up to uh, window, uh, animation editors, and uh, blend shape. Let's see, it, uh, I'll just move my character down here. This list of blend shapes will come up. Now this particular model has blend shapes for the Visemi, uh, for the Visemi tracks for lip sync. Um, so if you take a look, uh, for example, I bring the slider up, this woo slider up there. My model will uh, get a woo shape with his mouth there. That's the blend shape for the woo. We have uh, an E or a EMP. All right, so those are different uh, blend shapes. Uh, like I mentioned, they're only used for this model uh, with the uh, lip sync feature in iClone. Uh, so we'll go directly into iClone, uh, where I already have my uh, model loaded up here. You can see he's a happy looking dude. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, about the uh, go into the animation tab and facial animation. I'm going to show you a little bit of the uh, facial puppet uh, capabilities of this model here. If we go down, we go to uh, custom profile. This model has a number of different uh, custom profiles here. You can see, oh you, he has a number of different uh, facial uh, shapes that are blending together. And uh, a little bit more smiley maybe. Um, and this one's a little bit uh, happier. You can see, if I bring the chin too far down, it'll go through the mesh. But uh, So try not to do anything too extreme. You can also adjust that head tilting value later, uh, like I'll show you. Um, so here's a number of different profiles. A little bit sad. Aww. You can also use any of the other iClone profiles as well. For example, this attractive one you can see. He looks very attractive now. Alright, so uh, go ahead and have fun with that on your own time. Maybe we can uh, record this. You can see the auto blink at working as well. And uh, we'll close that down. And uh, we can go to uh, text to speech as well if we want. Um, well, I'm going to load in a vocal track here. I'm loading this uh, bragging track. Ah! So what? You can't touch me! Because I'm from the internet! Alright, so you can see those uh, those blend shapes at work uh, doing the uh, lip syncing. You can go in and edit that further. If I go, for example, F3, and I go into my uh, face track here, open up my uh, Viasemi track, you can see that these are the uh, blend shapes. Uh, for example, there's the uh, K, the T, the T shape with the mouth. And if I double click on that, you can see my list of uh, my list of blend shapes here that you saw previously in Maya. And of course, you can adjust uh, the expressiveness of this if you want to bring it up more. Um, let's go to this O if you want to change the value. It's very similar to uh, the uh, blend shape values uh, that you saw previously in Maya. Now, one more thing I want to show you is if you're interested in doing keyframe animation for your face, uh, you can use the uh, face key panel down here, or face key tool down here. That'll open up a face key panel for you. And you can see right now that I have uh, the eyes, forehead, and mouth selected. And if I uh, click and drag down, you'll see uh, connecting a frown a little bit, click up and get a smile. You can do that. You can select uh, individual parts, such as maybe only the only the right eye. You can move that one around by itself, click and drag. Um, or maybe only the jaw. Um, that'll open the mouth like this. And you can kind of move that around uh, however you'd like. Just don't move it <laughs> through the top of the mouth there. Um, so maybe we can uh, do a keyframe animation real quickly here. Um, I'll just select the uh, eyes and the mouth and the forehead here. If we start maybe something down here, a little kind of a frown, and then um, a second later we'll just lift it up and give him a smile. Something's making him happy. We can uh, close that down. Now we can go into F3. And you can see there's two keyframes here in the uh, in the face section in the facial layer track. And of course, uh, you can move that if you want to make the animation slower. There you go. You can see the auto blink at work already there, so it's a nice smiling animation. 
And um, notice that uh, these these particular models cannot use the detailed section, um, where you're able to uh, select uh, particular vertexes of the uh, character's face. That's because they don't have any vertex data, um, such as default icon characters do. Um, so most uh, non-standard characters won't be able to utilize uh, this part here, where you select uh, specific points. Um, for example, if I go down to this uh, monkey here, you'll be able to see that the muscle layer is actually an abstract layer that, uh, that kind of makes all the uh, character types compatible and able to uh, utilize the same uh, tool. You can see the monkey with his uh, smile here, those blend shapes taking effect there. <laughs> and uh, we can, of course, reset all of the monkey to open his mouth. There you go, he's a happy little dude. Um, and of course, the, uh, the hunter is the same way. You can do the same features with the hunter. You can see his face looks slightly different, but uh, you can select his nose. Move around a little bit, and uh, yeah. So basically, all the characters are compatible uh, with this tool as well. Of course, the uh, G5 Game Bone characters won't have as much uh, facial detail uh, with this particular tool, but uh, as you can see, the uh, the chimp and other characters with uh, blend shapes will have uh, a lot more uh, blending detail um, with that. All right. So uh, let's move on to 3D Exchange now. With back with our crocodile character. So once the model is up in 3D Exchange, you can see if I uh, zoom in on the model a little, bit, a little bit closer, there's all the uh, blend shapes are listed here in the uh, morph list. So there's my OO and the E that I showed you before. All right, so if you want, if you have a character like this and you want to bring it into Icon, the first step you're going to need to take is select Convert to Non-Standard. All right, and you can see this character has been uh, auto mapped already um, because it comes from Icon. I use the I avatar. Um, what you can do. Uh, in facial extended mapping. If you want to learn more about that, you can go into the, uh, you can check out our facial bone tutorial and it'll show you all about how to uh, map the facial bones and everything like that. For this tutorial, we're not really going to work too much on uh, on the mapping the bones because that's covered in the other two, two tutorials. So you can check those out uh, if you want. We'll just cancel this for now. We're going to change the expression. We're going to, going to go into the expression editor for this model. I'm going to show you how you can fool around with the expression editor. And you can see here that there's, uh, of course, the head, eye, jaw, vice, me, muscle, and custom tabs here. All these movements have already been set since we've imported the uh, model from iClone. It's already in iAvatar format, and the jaw uh, movement and everything like that is okay. Now, for uh, vice, me, for example, if I wanted to uh, adjust my uh, vice, me shapes, I can select this uh, Wu one, for example. And the cool thing about uh, hybrid characters that have facial bones and blend shapes is you can adjust the uh, position of the bones as well as the uh, um, value of the blend shape. So for example, if I bring my Wu down, you can see it goes back to normal. If I wanted to make that more exaggerated, I could select the uh, you know upper jawbone there, for example, and uh, maybe raise the mouth a little bit, select this one and bring it down. And you can go ahead and fool around with that if you want. That'll change the value for, uh, or change the appearance of the uh, Wu phonem when my character does a Wu sound. And you can do that with all the other ones as well. In addition, um, the muscle tab uh, is used by the uh, facial puppet tool. So for example, you see my brow raise inner left, brow raise outer left, all this stuff, and I blink. Now I could do something really pretty cool here. If I want my tongue to come out, for example, every time uh, my model blinks his eyes or closes his eyes, I can do that. I can just like lower his, uh, lower his jaw here a little bit. And what I can do is I can select his, uh, his tongue bone here. And I can uh, just bring that out, um, so you'll see um, the tongue, I'll just raise it up a little bit. Basically now every time, is that far enough? Oh, there we go, stick it out further. Every time he uh, closes his eyes now, um, he's going to stick out his tongue basically, just like a naughty little crocodile. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just save that for now. Um, I have the auto apply on so I don't really have to uh, press the set button. Otherwise, you'll have to press the set button whenever you make a change to a specific profile. All right, so we'll leave that for now. We'll close that. And let's go directly and apply that into iClone and see, see uh, the effect that uh, that change had. So here we go, apply to iClone. All right, so let's uh, remove the uh, previous animation there. And we're just going to go into uh, facial animation again. I'm going to show you a uh, facial puppet profile. We'll use this uh, attractive one. Well, you have to use a different one where his tongue actually comes out, or he actually closes his eyes. So 
You can see now, every time he closes his eyes now, his tongue will come out, uh, whereas previously it didn't. Now, an even cooler thing we can do is we can use the uh, extended bone feature um, to actually make his tongue wag around uh, in a natural fashion. So if I go back into uh, 3D Exchange, let's do that right now. I'll go back into 3D Exchange and I want to convert to non-standard. What I want to do here is in this uh, extended bone mapping, I want to select his tongue and I want to use that as an extended bone. So I'm going to select this tongue section here. We'll select all the uh, sub nodes as well. And we're just, I'm going to select uh, map to extend bone. Right, and that'll turn it to a different color. You'll see it'll, it'll be purple. And so that's going to be a spring. That's going to be kind of a, a natural spring uh, look there. So what I need to do after that, I'm going to, I'm going to go to convert. And I need to adjust the uh, spring values here. So I'm going to go to uh, edit spring. And you can see that his tail has already been uh, already been mapped as an, an extending bone. So his tail is already uh, set with springs. And what I want to do here is select uh, these tongues here. And I want to select active spring. What that's going to do is that's going to enable the uh, spring value for my tongue. It's like rotate. Maybe I'll just raise the value a little bit. We don't want it to be uh, too high of a value. And maybe even decrease the mass. Um, you can go ahead and uh, adjust these on your own time back and forth. Um, but for now I'm just going to leave it like this. We'll go apply. And we'll try to uh, apply this character to iClone again. And I'll do uh, a little bit more facial puppeteering and we'll see the effect that that has. So now it's been replaced with my new character. So we'll go into the uh, facial animation, uh, facial puppet right here. And let's see, you'll see that when, I, uh, when I'm previewing, it doesn't really show the tongue wagging around, but when I record, it'll be in real time. So you can see my tongue kind of flopping around. There we go. It's going back and forth, kind of shaking his head. All right, so I'll uh, press space to stop the recording. I can play back. You can see there his tongue kind of flopping around in his mouth there. That's pretty cool. You can do that with any uh, any limb, basically. If you have ears or tongues or tails or anything like that, you can do that with any model um, um, in 3D Exchange. Map as an extended bone and give it uh, spring values. In addition to the facial animation, uh, these models actually also can be used uh, with iClone's full, uh, full suite of uh, real-time body animation tools as well. Uh, so, for example, I already have that... Uh, animation with the uh, wagging tongue like I showed you before. Uh, what I can do is if I wanted to go into a motion puppet, I can do some real-time uh, motion puppeting. I can choose his drunken profile and see what uh, my model looks like when he's drunk. You can see uh, he's kind of slouched over and uh, and a little bit uh, a little bit dizzy. I can just go ahead and re record that if I want. You can see there, he looks... just adds a little bit more emphasis to the, uh, to the drunken state. <laughs> All right, so there's my, my drunken crocodile right there, and uh, his tongue wagging around. Um, so uh, I can also do things like um, use the edit motion layer, for example. Uh, uh, Icon comes with a human IK uh, capability, so if I use human IK, I can adjust uh, any of the positions. We can uh, move his uh, waist down and bend his legs. All right, so uh, it comes with the full uh, human IK uh, capabilities as well. Um, as well as Direct Puppet. If you want to go into a Direct Puppet, you can uh, do some real-time editing of individual features. For example, oh, we don't want to use Transform, let's use the uh, rotation here. You can rotate the head a bit more. Uh, there you go, back and forth. <laughs> Who knows what he's doing in this animation? He's just, he's totally out of it. You can go ahead and record that and, and a bit more of a head shake. Kind of exaggerate that tongue wagging. You don't want the tongue wagging to be too extreme, otherwise it might uh, break through the mesh. You gotta be careful with this kind of stuff. There we go. All right, so uh, there's my completed animation of my uh, my drunken crocodile. All right, so you can see that uh, any of the models you import in are also compatible with uh, uh, the full uh, suite of body animation tools as well. So, uh, hope you are very familiar now with uh, importing your model into iClone and uh, the facial animation capabilities as well as the body animation capabilities and uh, go have fun with your own custom character.
Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to import facial, bone, and morph hybrid characters into iClone in order to use all the uh, cool real-time facial animation tools uh, within iClone. Um, so here I have this crocodile character loaded up uh, in Maya here. I'm going to show you a couple things about this character. It's actually included with our facial pipeline character design pack. So first of all I'm going to zoom in on the face a little bit here. If I uh, select my character and uh, zoom in on the face, um, what you can see first of all is that uh, um, if you take a close look at the uh, model, you can see there's some uh, jaw bones that are kind of coming out through the skin mesh. So we can see that this character has facial bones. Uh, if we go into wireframe, it has blend shapes for the Visamy, uh, for the Visamy tracks for lip sync. Um, so if you take a look, uh, for example, I bring the slider up, this woo slider up there. My model will uh, get a woo shape with his mouth there. That's the blend shape for the woo. We have uh, an E or a EMP. Alright, so those are different uh, blend shapes. Uh, like I mentioned, they're only used for this model uh, with what you can see those a little bit better. You see the purple uh, purple bones uh, in the uh, in the crocodile's head there. Similar to the hunter character, although this character has some fairly simplified bone structure. Um, so it also this character also has blend shapes, which I'll show you uh, right now. If we go up to uh, Window, uh, Animation Editors, and uh, Blend Shape. Let's see that uh, I'll just move my character down here. This list of blend shapes will come up. Now this particular model has the uh, lip sync feature in iClone. Uh, so we'll go directly into iClone, uh, where I already have my uh, model loaded up here. You can see he's a happy looking dude. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, about the, uh, go into the animation tab and facial animation. I'm going to show you a little bit of the uh, facial puppet uh, capabilities of this model here. If we go down, we go to uh, custom profile. This model has a 